Hi, welcome back. If you're new to my channel, my name is Gines. I'm an international board certified lactation consultant, a registered nurse, and a mom. And I post breastfeeding tips, pumping tips in this channel to help support your feeding goals. And feel free to look around the channel for other tips and be sure to subscribe to support the channel and like this video if it was helpful. In this video, I am going to be talking about clogged milk ducts how to prevent them, how to treat them. I'm gonna cover the most effective um, remedies to clear clogged milk ducts. I'm gonna cover um, from feeding, effective feedings, from supplements, from other modalities, from the Haka hack. I'm gonna show you exactly what to do and other tips. So watch all the way to the end so you know which one will fit you best. A clogged milk duct is an area in the breast where milk is stuck, right? So it's unable to flow through like before. And what you could, what you might feel is a lump that is could be tender to the touch, could be warm, um, could be painful. So a uh, clogged milk duct usually resolves on its own within 24 hours, just with frequent feedings. Um, but sometimes it could take longer and some moms have recurrent um, clogged milk ducts. So I'm gonna cover different tips and I'm sure that you could find the right one for you in this video. With a clogged milk duct, you want to treat it right away. Um, you don't wanna sleep on it because a clogged milk duct could lead to mastitis, which is a breast inflammation, and you don't want that. It is a very unpleasant experience. I'll have a dedicated video for mastitis. So um, let's begin with the tips. So just a little bit about prevention. To prevent a clogged milk duct, what you want to do is breastfeed on demand. If you're pumping, don't skip pumping sessions. You want to use the correct, proper um, pumping parts, for your needs and your size and you want to use a well-fitted bra you don't want nothing too loose or nothing too tight if you feel that your baby is not breastfeeding efficiently please reach out to an ibclc so the baby's oral function could be assessed so the first tip is frequent milk removals by nursing on demand, by pumping frequently, um, and not skipping any feeds. And also to add to that, just listen to your body. If you feel that your breasts are becoming very full, just have some milk removal. Just remove some milk for your comfort because the longer they stay full, the more you're gonna be at risk for developing a clogged milk duct or mastitis. My favorite, most effective tip to clear a clogged milk duct, and that is a castor oil compress. So for a castor oil compress, you want to choose high quality castor oil. You want to choose something that's non-GMO, something that possibly organic. And what, what you want to do is, I'm going to link one below in the description box. What you want to do is you could apply the castor oil to the skin, to the affected area, cover it with like an old t-shirt or something, and then apply heat. And you could hold that for 20 minutes, okay? And you could repeat that um, as often as you need, but um, that should clear it because the castor oil with the heat helps in detoxifying um, the area and with inflammation. Now, when you're done with the castor oil compress, you need to clean the area. You don't want baby to take any of that in, okay? So be sure to wash the area thoroughly. To continue with heat, another thing that you could do is just take a warm shower. Like heat is, could be very soothing and therapeutic to the area and help loosen that blockage. So if you have a handheld shower head, you could focus on that area in the shower um, or you could just apply just a plain compress. These I really like. I'll leave a link in the description box. You could just put in the microwave and apply it to that area for about, um, about 10 minutes okay and or you could while in the shower you could use a white tooth comb a white tooth comb and gently comb that affected area you want to start 
you, you want to start before the clogged milk duct towards the nipple and then over it and then all over around that affected area okay something else that you could use is your toothbrush if you have an electric toothbrush you could use the back of your toothbrush for vibration and also will help loosen that blockage so it will it will sound something like this so you could do this So you want to start with a vibration in front of the clock mill duct and then around it in the back of it because you want to make space you want to clear that area not just on top of it okay and then you could do it towards towards the nipple a popular remedy for clock milk ducts is the haka using the haka for it i'm going to tell you exactly what you have to do so you're going to use warm water you could fill it to the rim okay and put two tablespoons of unscented epsom salt all right and then you're going to mix it right in there so warm water epsom salt two tablespoons and then you want to have a towel or you want to do it in the shower and then you're going to flip it you're going to flip the flange back and then put your breath in then move it back attach it so that suction that creates the haka with the salts and the warm um, hot, hot water now the water should not be really hot you don't want to burn yourself but it should be warm that combination helps remove that blockage and what it looks like when it comes out is like string cheese so you could do this um, three four times a day and then you could leave it on for about five ten minutes something that I want to address with clogged milk ducts is mom's diet if mom is finding that she's getting a lot of recurrent clogged milk ducts it could be related to her diets and inflammatory foods that she's consuming let's say if you're consuming a lot of dairy a lot of eggs or gluten or a lot of processed foods or sugar all that could contribute to recurrent um, clog milk ducts changing breastfeeding positions is very effective as well try a different position like a football hold a, a laying down um, or like offering if you're laying down you want to offer the top breast so you use a little bit of gravity or um, just leaning forward while breastfeeding or breastfeeding on, breastfeeding on all fours like on your hands and knees and just making sure baby's chin is touching the breast because the chin is going to massage that area and help clear that clogged milk duct okay so be sure that baby's chin is touching the breast and that you position baby's chin to the affected area thing i want to cover is let's say if you don't have a haka you could do epsom salt soaks with the breast okay so you could do the same um the same formula and then you could just soak the breast in epsom salt water and you could also get a therapeutic relief doing that so now let's talk about supplements one of the most common supplements that are taken for clogged milk ducts is sunflower lecithin and that's the one you want you want to use sunflower lecithin not no other lecithin because sunflower lecithin has choline Choline is what's going to keep your milk ducts lubricated so milk doesn't stick to it and you don't get another another clogged milk duct, okay? So that's going to help prevent that. So the choline and the sunflower lecithin is what's help with um, relieving and smoothing out those ducts. Another supplement that you could take for inflammation is turmeric. I love turmeric. So turmeric will really help with inflammation. Also garlic with honey um, also helps relieve the inflammation. So another modality that is used for clogged milk ducts is therapeutic ultrasound treatment. Um, if you live in the Jersey City, New Jersey area, I know of a place that does this treatment. If you have like a, uh, if you're having recurrent um, clogged milk ducts or you have one that doesn't want to leave you so um, a lot of moms have found this and this is there is some research behind it as well that a therapeutic ultrasound treatment are effective at clearing clogged milk ducts 
another thing that you could use is homeopathic medicine to help resolve and clear and treat uh, clogged milk duct and even mastitis so i'll put one that is used um, frequently for a clogged milk duct or mastitis so i'll leave it in the screen so so you know of it and you do your research now something that i want to mention if you feel that the symptoms are worsening and things are getting worse and you're not feeling well, you're feeling ill and sick and you're running a fever, please reach out to an IBCLC or your health provider. Very important that you take care of this before things get worse. So these are the most effective remedies to clear a clogged milk duct. Let me know in the comments which one you use and which one helped. And if you found it helpful, give it a like and I'll see you in the next video. Be well. Bye.